guys, uh, we are up to exit work at number 21. And uh, today is Member Appreciation Day and we've got 80s Day. So I've asked Armando, who's filming me right now, to make sure that my 80s fans do not get in this video. <laughs> so I hope he's following my direction there. We've got a phenomenal workout. We've got a phenomenal coach that's getting ready to show you her workout. Belle in the house, getting ready to rock. So take it away, girl. Hi, everyone. I'm Belle from Piper's Alley in Chicago. And workout 21. Squat with dumbbells on the shoulders to a side kick. You're going to alternate from right to left. So full squat into a side kick right. Squat into a side kick left. 20 reps, 10 on each side. Second exercise, squat jumps, no dumbbells. You're going to squat down, elbows to the knees. The arches of your feet are going to come together as you bound up as high as you can. Arches of the feet together, back down, jump, in, out, 20 jumps. Third exercise, lateral lunge with a shoulder press. You're going right to left. With the dumbbell in your right hand, I'm going to lunge to the left. I'm going to drop this to my inside arch. I'm going to come up to a shoulder press. I'm going to alternate to the right now, dumbbell to the inside of the arch on the right leg, to a shoulder press. Alternating side to side, 12 of those. Lateral jumps to a balance. I love plyometrics. You're going to land on the left, you're going to stabilize your body, get your balance. Left jump, right jump, balance, left, balance, right, balance. 20 of those. Single arm kettlebell swing. And I'm going to go 12 swings on the right arm. Squat stance, you're going to squat. Shoulder height swing. 12 on the right arm. 12 on the left arm. Full squat. Reverse lunge with a kettlebell. You might want to get a heavier kettlebell. Regression would be a lower weight on the kettlebell, okay? Reverse lunge with a figure eight going through the opposite leg. Kettlebell's in the right hand. Right leg is going to go back as I lunge and transfer that weight right underneath my calf, left to right. Transfer. The weight's going to pull you one way. You go the other, alternating, 12. Goblet squat with the kettlebell. Tip the kettlebell up, just like you're drinking out of a goblet. Elbows to the knees, squat to a full extension press. Squat, full squat, press. Again, regression would be lower weight, okay? 15 of those. Static reverse lunge to a dip with a tricep extension. Now, I'm going to grab the weight in a triangle position. I'm going to get into a lunge position. I'm going to dip down. I'm going to extend up. Full extension, drop the weight to the triceps behind, the traps I should say, and extend. Dip. Extend, 10 on each leg. Man makers, I love this one. <laughs> this one's going to require a regression because what this is going to call for is a burpee. You're going to go down and you're going to jump back. You're going to give me a push up. You're going to give me a row on the right, a row on the left. Jump up behind the weights to a hammer curl and a press. Now, a lot of regressions for that would be just a plain step back, push up or no push up based on how well you can stabilize these dumbbells, rowing again, row or no row based on how stable your body feels, jump up to a curl and a press. 
a regression again would be a lighter weight as well, okay? Six of those, those are hard. A lot of different exercises in there. Uh, windmills, so you're on your back on the ground with significant weights in your hand. Lock out those arms. Legs are up. I'm gonna flow left to the center and flow to the right. Center, left, center, right. Trying to come down on my outside arch left to right. 20 of those. Forearm plank to hip dips. So while I'm in plank position on my forearms, your hands, stabilize your body, perfect plank position hopefully. 